Hey there, this is Todd at Biz Ladder. This video is going to talk about one of the most common questions I get from new Wix clients, meaning clients that are new to Wix. And that is, how do I change the order notification emails? What emails my customers get when they place an order? And I'm going to answer that question quickly here in the first 60 seconds, but I'm going to get into a little bit more about notifications inside of Wix because there's much more to that question than just how do I send a confirmation email to my customer? But let's answer that question first. So there are four emails that you can send for orders related um, or related to orders. You're going to go into your dashboard in the settings, scroll down to e-commerce and finance order email notifications. And you'll see the four when it comes up here, you'll scroll down a little order email notifications, the order, the shipping, and then download links and ready for pickup. These bottom two, you're probably not using a ton of maybe the download link. Uh, this order confirmation and the shipping confirmation are the primary ones. Um, and then you're going to edit those, of course, with the edit button. Now, the edit button here is not exactly the same as when you go into automations. All right. So keep an idea, you know, make note of this kind of red text or red box here um, when you make, make this change. So there's not a ton you can do here. All right. We're going to talk a little bit later about how you can work around that a bit. But for the most part, this is your email. This is what you're going to be able to send because this is an order confirmation email. The, the system is going to drop in the order details inside in between your subtitle and your footer, of course. So we'll cancel that. You can edit the shipping confirmation. Same idea there. Limited editability, if that's the word. All right. So let's go back a little bit, you know, because stores aren't just the only kind of transaction point inside your your website your wix wix websites specifically so you can actually book appointments and classes and courses and what wix calls wix bookings to change that you go back to settings you scroll down to booking settings emails and sms reminders and you'll get a little bit of a different screen here but same idea these are the notifications you send you can customize it. You can see you get a little more functionality here with the subject and the message. Um, and you can change for classes, differentiate, excuse me, between classes and courses and appointments. But same idea, you can go ahead and change things. That's the message reminders, you can't change those really all that much. Um, or you wanna be careful about changing these just because of character length limits. And actually some carriers now are starting to impose fees for um, text messages that they don't like we're not going to get into that here all right so that's stores that's bookings but here's the thing there are so many other transaction points inside of wix i'm going to list all a link all those transaction points and a link to the support article in the description so you can go into each one and learn about modifying notifications for each one of these but it, just to start the list it's stores and bookings blog forum groups forms events inbox and it keeps going okay pricing plans might be known so where and how do we just see all of these notifications you go back to settings you scroll down to communications and notifications you've sent Excuse me, notifications you sent. click in there and you're going to see the primary no default notifications the types that you can send and you can go right there and change those notifications all right these automated emails that you send these are automations so let's talk about automations and this video is not going to really get into automations i have other videos on that topic but they're a really powerful way in fact wix has just moved them out into their own automations uh primary menu item here this is the way to work around all the things that we talked about before you click new automation you're going to see all these different triggers I can initiate an automation and an automation really in this case is just sending an email there are other things you can do but all these different things and then various and then kind of sub components or components of those those triggers can initiate an email so you definitely want to explore automations if you have more questions on that let me know if you have any other questions about automations notifications in general let us know